Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and I would like to do a review or discussion of the pens and inks that I use this month. Um, what my thoughts are, would I do use them again, how the ink flowed, all that comes to mind. I am enjoying some tea as I record some videos. Um, and without further ado, let's get right on into it. So the first pen and ink combination is a Twisby Diamond 580, almost emptied out. And this is inked up with Birmingham Pen Company Blast Furnace. I recently had a comment um, where someone had commented that they wished Birmingham Pen Company made Blast Furnace again. Um, I've got a whole bottle, so if that was you, please feel free to reach out. I would love to send you some if you are out. All right, so for this one, um, the pen, I I love this pen. There's not a whole lot um, if ands, or buts about it. It's a really comfortable pen, and uh, it's kind of been a workhorse, so I will give that a 10 out of 10. Um, I do find that I am a pretty graceful rater and I'm really inconsistent with my ratings because I haven't figured out what my system is yet, but I'm working on it. Um, but for the most part, I, I love all my pens, so I'm going to give them pretty high, pretty high marks. Um, this ink also I did really love. It is gorgeous. It's a nice uh, black. It has a little bit of a gray undertone. The other person who commented did say that they saw um, some purple in there, um, but it's a really lovely combination. So this was a great combination. Uh, and is excellent as a work pen. So if you're looking for that kind of work appropriate, the, the ink is very work appropriate. You could sign things, file paperwork, etc. The Twisby, it is an extra fine nib, so it doesn't lay down a gushing amount of ink. So uh, if you are using it to write on paper at work, you're not gonna get a ton of feathering because it is an extra fine. So really love that. All right, the next pen is Leonardo Memento Magico 2.0 in angel skin with an elastic fine nib. Now this was inked up with Colorverse Brunch Date. It is now inked up with, and I don't do this often, but it is now inked up with Wearing Goal Shock, which was a sample sent to me by one of my viewers, Taz. Hello. Um, so the pen, I will give this in the spirit of not loving on all of my pens, I will give this a nine out of 10. Um, I did see that it was an elastic fine nib. I'm not sure when I ordered it that I truly appreciated that it was a flex nib, but it is growing on me. I do love it, uh, but I am just finding I can't use it as kind of an everyday carry because of the flex nib or I have to be thoughtful about inks. Now, having said that, having said that, what I am loving about this is um, that I'm able to use this and I'm just going to grab, let me zoom out. I'm gonna show some things for a moment. Um, so I do use this to do a lot of the kind of, um, what do I wanna call this, accent lettering? On my journaling spreads and it just has beautiful beautiful shading absolutely beautiful shading and when I had it inked up with uh, 
Colorverse brunch date, it as well had really, really beautiful shading. So I think what I'm gonna really love about this pen is that I can put those really nice shaders and even um, I, the, the ink that's currently in this is a shimmer ink. I can put that in there and not be as nervous and be able to enjoy it a little bit more. Um, so the Colorverse Brunch Date, it is a 10 out of 10. I bought a bottle of it. The Wearing Gold Shock is en route to having a bottle, <laughs> but because I am truly enjoying it, what I do want to do, and thankfully Taz gave me enough of a sample, is I want to put it in another pen with a different nib and see if I like it as much in that other pen, um, just because it does have a shimmer and shimmers can be a little little finicky, but I love writing with them. Um, I think it was C Simone commented um, or replied to a comment that I made on one of her videos um, that I am somebody that does tend to use a, a little bit more of a shimmer ink. So um, the the one thing that was interesting about this particular ink, what if I'm, cause I'm gonna focus on the wear and shock, is I was worried that it might be too light, but in this nib, this ink is perfection. Um, so I am going to give this a 10 out of 10 and we'll see again when I put it in another uh, nib size how I like about that um, or what I like about it, I should say. Um, so the shading in this ink is gorgeous and I'm adjusting to a flex nib. Where's that? And I do like the, the ink window. Um, the other interesting thing with this nib where it is a uh, an elastic fine it has that little bit of flex to it and it writes very juicy is it goes through ink like that it just flies through it so there's that pen next up I have Esterbrook SD and Ferris Wheel Press collab Ooh, um, this is the nebulous plume and it's in an extra fine this came with a bottle of nebulous blue ink from Ferrisville Press. The um, only way that you could get that ink is by buying this pen um, and that is a shimmer ink and even though this is an extra fine that ink flowed beautifully out of it. So um, I do love the extra fine nib that SD that uh, Esterbrook does. All right um, so this pen it's going to get a 10 out of 10. It is, uh, feels really good in the hand. It's a good size. It's a good weight. It is absolutely beautiful. I really love taking it with me and writing in different places because I love to see this, um, in all different kinds of lighting, just to see how it highlights. I mean, look at that. How it highlights the shimmer. Oh, it matches my nails right there. Look at that. Um, but yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous. So, and I like that band. It's so beautiful. The um, the ink. I am going to again in the spirit of not loving on everything. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Um, and just because I know how other inks flow in this pen, this ink does flow a little bit dry. And um, so the ink is a little dry and there's not much sheeting. I still love it. 
it, it is a nice ink. I'm glad that I have a bottle of it. Um, and I have recently been sharing samples with people um, who are interested in some darker browns. But um, if I'm going to think about this pen or the Diamine Ink Vent Triple Chocolate versus Birmingham Pen Company Distress Leather, I'm going to go Distress Leather hands down every single day. All right, so this is, ooh, let me talk about this. This is the Bennu Euphoria Ice Caramel Latte, which is a Goulet Pen exclusive colorway for Bennu. This has a fine nib and it's inked up with Birmingham Pen Company Distress Leather. This is the second fill for this pen and I refilled it. I don't typically refill my pens mid-month, but I refilled it because I'm using this pen in my five-year journal and each month I have a pen and ink combination that I use in my five-year so I had to refill it. <laughs> it's just facts, right? Um, now this pen, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. The reason I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 is I do think that the nib needs some work. There's some skipping or false starts that happen uh, with this nib. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So I will... When I have an opportunity to get this ground or looked at by a professional, I am going to do that. I do also have some tips in one of my videos for um, doing some nib tuning at home. And I have a Jin Hao nib that I'm going to try out some things with before I potentially try this one. But um, that is the reason I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. The ink is a 10 out of 10. It is such a beautifully complex brown with some golden spots and some dark spots. The shading is phenomenal. I, I just, I really enjoy writing with this ink and it also is a pretty uh, well lubricated ink. So you can see right there in the end, it missed the downstroke at the start of the end. And right there on the K. Apparently I like the word gorgeous today. All right, next up, tried and true workhorse pen. I love this so much. This is a Pelican M400 and it is in the white tortoise shell. This is a piston fill. It has a pretty good size ink capacity. This is inked up with Birmingham Pen Company Sandstone. And if you can see a little bit into that translucent part of the body of the pen, it is almost out of ink. This is an extra fine, but it writes very wet. Um, so this is a 10 out of 10. This pen is perfection. I love it so much. And then the ink is also a 10 out of 10. I was introduced to this ink by one of my viewers who sent me a sample. And um, then I immediately went to buy a bottle after I used it for the first time, but they were out of sandstone. Um, and then when Birmingham Pen Company restocked it, that same viewer sent me an email to let me know it had been restocked. And I went that day and purchased a bottle. And it came in the 100 mil size. So it's actually a really good size bottle. Um, this ink also just shades really beautifully. Um, and I will say I had this ink in a Lamy Studio with this actually right here with an extra fine nib. I think it is. 
I can't, oh no, with a fine nib. I did not like it in this pen, um, but I think it's more a this pen issue because um, I haven't really found that perfect ink combination for this pen. So um, I'm not gonna hold it against the ink on this one. So um, this is a perfect combination. in my opinion. It's looking, that looks like it's feathering. That's fascinating. Might be my hand oils though. All right, next up is, and I don't even know if there's enough ink in this to write, but um, this is a Platinum Century 3776 or Platinum 3776 Century in white. This has an, a, a fine nib, and it's a 14 karat fine nib with that beautiful little heart breather hole right there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, and this is inked up with Diamine Ink Vent 20, um, from 2021 Brandy Snap, which I really enjoyed this pen and ink combination. The only thing I wish is that this was a little bit of a wetter writer for this ink. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm really going to enjoy putting this ink in a different pen. Um, maybe a Western, uh, fine. So, um, for this one, the pen, I'm begrudgingly going to give it a nine out of 10. It's almost too fine. Um, and I actually was talking about this pen recently and saying that I felt like it was an ultra fine. And so I'm very intrigued <laughs> as I look and it's not even an extra fine. It's a, it's a fine nib. Let's see if I can get that. You can kind of see it there. Um, so the fact that it's a fine nib and it is so fine, that's, this is really the difference between kind of a, a Japanese nib and like a German nib. Um, but I still love it. I just, I'm trying to find that perfect ink to pair it with that really, um, complements this pen. The ink, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I really like the color. Um, and I'm surprised that there's still ink in here. Just anyway. Um, And then I have, oh, hmm, I did one line. I probably really needed to do two. That's fine. Um, so I did have a couple of pens that got added this month. And so one of them, I'm going to do this one first because, uh, actually, let me put this over here. So this is a Banu Talisman. With a fine nib and it's called Dream Bean. This was my Fountain Day pen purchase. Um, and it's inked up with, oh gosh. Monteverde pumpkin cake. So the pen, so far I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 and the ink is going to be a 9 out of 10. Um, this also was a, a sample sent to me by a viewer, um, actually the same viewer that sent me sandstone. 
both of these. Um, the reason that I give this ink a 9 out of 10, and this is not uncommon with orange and red inks, is where the where the ink hits air, it gunks up a little bit. So I have this kind of layer of gunk right there. If I were to grab this shirt, so see how that's a white spot? And just rub it right along. There's that gunk. Um, so it just, it requires a little bit of upkeep a little bit more so than other inks. Um, and that's not in all red and orange inks, but it is in enough that it's kind of commonly known. Um, I've seen it on Reddit. I've seen it on other YouTuber videos. So, um, but I thought that that was a really nice ink pairing to match the, the shimmer in this pen. Now the last new acquisition that I had this month, which I feel like I've had this in my collection for so long, it, it's shocking to me that I didn't have it at the beginning of November, but I think it might have been the first week of November that I got this. Um, there we go. Oh, that's so smooth. So this is a... Zodiac Pen Co. in the body style of Virgo. And it has an extra fine, yes, extra fine Jovo nib. Um, and this is in the colorway of Red Abalone. This ink I have also refilled this month just because I love, I've been loving this combination and I feel that this blue goes really nice with the majority of the other colors that I selected for this month. Um, so this ink is Robert Oster Summer Storm. Um, so the pen, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10. And the ink, I am also going to give a 10 out of 10. Um, this has just been an absolute pleasure to write with. Uh, I definitely want to take this into December with me, but I am hoping to use some um, December color inks. And I'm just not sure what ink to pair this with, but I could also just not match it. Yeah, you don't need to match your pens and your inks it's that's a choice that you make so anywho all right so those are my pens and my inks for this month I'm actually not going to line those up because they're just going to roly-poly everywhere um I think my favorite my favorite favorite is oh hmm hmm <laughs> I guess if I were to move that to the side, let me just map out some things. Let's see. Now, I am mostly, well, it's a common, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> I think this would be how I would rank them from, oh gosh, that's somewhat out of frame. So if I were to, if I were to be forced to rank in order of my favorite for the month to my least favorite for the month, I think I would go this order um, with a combination of this one, um, the triple chocolate is good, not great as an ink. I've got better. Um, and there's something with the nib here that needs some work. Um, this is kind of a basic black. So 
I love you, Twisby. I love you, Burnt Furnace. But I love all of these better. Oh, sorry. This was distressed. Oh, this had distressed leather, and I love that ink. Okay. I'm going a, I'm to a do a little switcheroo here. Basic black at the end. <laughs> um, and then I loved all of these combinations for different reasons, whether it's I really liked working with the, the ink, I really liked writing with the nib, um, I, you know, just kind of exploring. So I think this would be my order. All right. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate the time that you spent with me today. Um, what was your favorite pen and ink combination for this month? I will see you back here soon and I will be doing my December currently inked. Bye.